Ah, Papa John. It's been a while. In fact, the last time I ate Papa John's, I think Papa John was still working at Papa John's. I think he got fired for doing something a little bit naughty. Yeah. What's up here, Army? Welcome back. Or if this is your first time watching, and for some reason you love watching hairy dudes eat a bunch of foods, then, I don't know, maybe think about subscribing. You probably won't look back. So I often get sent or get tagged in YouTube videos, viral videos, cheat days, eating challenges, stuff like that. And a few days ago, somebody sent me a video by strongman Brian Shaw. Now, if you don't know who Brian Shaw is, he's a former world's strongest man, a little bit like my boy Eddie Hall, who I shot that. Hilarious video with a few weeks ago if you haven't checked it out. I'll put up a link on screen so you can do so He's a little bit like that only less English, so not as good <laughs> Anyway, what I'm getting at is Brian's a legendary strength athlete and he's really hustling with his YouTube channel right now It's doing really well growing really fast and he occasionally posts these cheat meals, right? And in this video he orders three large Papa John's pizzas 18 brownies and one like large pizza style cookie thing and I'm thinking wow this guy's not a competitive eater if he can put this away if he can get this down then I'm gonna be impressed right so I watched the video and after he orders the food he's joined by like three more strong men and over the course of the video they still don't even finish the food between like four of them so that was a little bit disappointing but I figured it might be fun to order the same meal and see if I can finish it so that's what we're doing today so without further delay let's get underway this is Beard Meets Food and this is the Brian Shaw uh, where is it? I've got it here somewhere in my history. Here we go, the box squat, pizza party, cheat meal challenge. <gasps> Alright, so as usual, I've got no idea how many calories are in all this delicious food, but once I figure it out, I'll put up a count on screen for you. I'm not going to give myself a time limit this week. I'm just going to start the timer, see what happens. Hopefully you can see there. Let's get started with the Papa's favourite sausage and... Something. I don't actually know what else is in it. Sausage and pepperoni, damn it. Do your research in advance, beard, you nipple. Uh, what's happening, beard army? Welcome back. Hope you all enjoy the video today. It's a strongman diet. Well, not a strongman diet. It's a strongman cheat meal. I'm definitely going to need the dip for this because I think I mentioned this before. My closest Papa John's is like 20 miles away. So between that and the intro, all this food is freezing cold, so I'm definitely gonna need to lube it up a little bit. Never any shortage of lube in this household, especially the garlic kind. Yeah, all this food was uh, was pretty cold, but it does make for an incredibly epic video. This is gonna be way harder than the Pizza Hut thing. Yeah, you can say that again. Actually, I don't know whether when this video goes up, if the video I'm talking about there will have already been posted, but I did a Pizza Hut buffet challenge the other day, finally. And what I'm getting at is warm food is easier to eat than cold food, especially when it's pizza. But I'm not going to do a bunch of commentary today. There's plenty of talking in this video. And if you're wondering why I did a screenshot of my, my fitness pal diary from that day, it's because 16,100 calories sounds like a lot to me. And I hate when channels exaggerate the calorie count. There's no need to do that. But uh, it looks legit, judging by my fitness pal. So, yeah, there we have it. The one thing I do love about when Papa John's pepperoni pizza goes cold is the pepperoni goes kind of crispy which is delicious yeah yum I think maybe you guys can help me out in the comments because I genuinely don't know which is better, the Papa John's dip, garlic dip, or Domino's garlic dip? Like, Papa John's pizza's better, that's a given, but I think I almost like them both equally. The dip. <coughs> I'm just gonna dump all this on here. 
Ooh. I'm gonna link the Brian Shaw video below just because the funniest part of the whole video is when the pizza delivery guy comes and unloads all the pizza. I'm not gonna do like a clip of it just in case Brian hits me with like you know a copyright claim or something but I will put a still in because it's hilarious. <laughs> Looks terrified. <coughs> <sighs> I think I need to start doing some like jaw specific exercises other than eating and talking. <coughs> oh my. So far, the best pizza has just been the double pepperoni. It's simple, tastes good. This one is the works, which I don't usually mind, but today I'm thinking like it's good. It's got too many toppings on there. I think a pizza should probably have like three toppings in addition to, you know, marinara sauce and the cheese. Otherwise, just things just get confusing. I think I've decided that the Papa John's garlic dip is slightly better. Alright, so I'm actually filming a game tomorrow, something small, so I would never normally do that. So I'm going to try to spare my jaw a little bit. Wait here, I'll leave the camera rolling. I'm going to go get a cup so I can soften these up a little bit. Ugh. Oops. There's an olive on my seat. Ugh. Uh, okay, this should do nicely. So, I'm gonna fill this up. And, I'm just gonna soften. Oops, cheese came off there. I'll get it, don't worry. Oh. I know some people out there are going to find this whole dipping thing, dunking thing disgusting, but oh, it's got to be done. Oh. The fizziness should help a little bit. Believe it or not. Ah. <laughs> okay, I have no idea. How long we've we been going? 34 minutes for like three pizzas. It's ridiculous. I did five large Domino's pizzas in what, like 20 some minutes? But they were warm, so. Right, let's do these brownies. I mean, the brownies do look delicious. They smelled amazing when they were uh, like in the back of the car on the way home. They smelled good. They are dense though. Mm. They're very rich. 
The edge is nearly as stiff as a pizza crust. That's gonna have to do. <coughs> Come on. We need to bounce back strong this week. Hopefully this works. Kinda worked. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. I've got to say the brownies are really good. I sometimes find with brownies they're too sweet. Like for me a brownie should be Quite a subtle taste. A lot of places like over sugar them, but these are good. I thought this would go way easier. <coughs> Almost there. I was really hoping this was going to be like cookie dough, not an actual giant cookie. Now, a lot of people ask me when I stop, like at what point I stop enjoying the meal if I'm eating like a ton of food. It was right about now. <sighs> I need to poop as well. I need to poop really bad. <laughs> Gotta concentrate on both ends. Controlling both ends of the digestive system today. Just in the nick of time. All right. 
I know I probably look like a total mess right now. But this is Bim, it's filling that. It was a Brian Shaw uh, pizza party cheat meal challenge. And now, I'm gonna go spend a little bit of quality time on the toilet. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Whew, that was hard.